this area. Uh, this tour will take about two and a half, up to three hours. Of course, it will depend how quickly we will move uh, and how many questions we will have. And I really appreciate your questions, so please ask anything that you are interested in. I will try to do my best to answer all those your questions. Also, as you know, this tour is for free. But if you like that, then you can leave some tips because that helps us to run these tours. Also, uh, we really appreciate your reviews. So, um, the Lithuanian name, uh, first time was mentioned in historical sources in 1009. At that time, there was no such country as Lithuania, but one guy recognized himself as a king and bishop of coming into this land, Lovdaisky. But when he reached this area, he got killed. With more than 200 years after that, we got another smart guy called Mendelus. United lands in this area and we can stay, which is known to Laudis as Lithuania. In the 15th century, uh, Lithuania, Grand Duchy of Lithuania used to be the biggest country in Europe, lasting from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. So big part of nowadays uh, Ukraine, big part of nowadays Belarus, some part of nowadays Russia was connected to Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Again because of anarchy, because law was changed a lot, we lost power and both countries were divided by three big empires by the end of the century. Uh, those two empires was Russia, Russia and Austria. And nowadays, Lithuanian territory was connected to Russia Empire. But after First World War, Lithuania uh, declared independence. So we started building a uh, modern republic. Uh, at that time, Vilnius region and Vilnius city was taken by Poland. So it was uh, part of Poland. Uh, but uh, during the uh, when Second World War started, Soviet came to our country, they occupied our country and they, they took Vilnius back and uh, returned uh, Vilnius back to Lithuania. Talking about Vilnius history, Vilnius was funded by Duke Dediminas, you can see monument to him right here. Um, uh, in 1323, on January 25th, we celebrate Vilnius' birthday uh, because on that day, Dediminas sent letters. At that time, there was no email, so he sent letters to other European countries and invited partners, artisans, bishops to come to free city. So he stated that Vilnius <coughs> is free and everyone is welcome here. Right now, we're standing in front of the residential palace in the historical Jewish quarter in the city. Jewish people, people were living here from really all uh, times. We know that quite a lot of for a longer time and capacity there was for about 30 and 40,000 people to live. So they, they needed to have like hospital, prison, library and other institutions in this area. That is not was not uh, in, in a small ghetto. Also in the middle, uh, in between those two ghettos we have a historical German residence black lotus. Another thing is that this area wasn't so clean and not all families had to be in different conditions. Uh, yes, as I said, uh, some Jewish people Really good to in the finance, but not all the animals have to live in different conditions. Also, in this portal, is, is, uh, this year is the, uh, the first municipal church in Vilnius. Uh, as I said, the big part of the city was wooden house in the middle of the 18th century. Uh, and in the middle of the 18th century, we got two great fires in the city, and one, was, one of those fires was raised in this portal. So, uh, it was affected a lot uh, here as well. And in this place, we used to have greatest snow standing here. So after this fire, the Jewish people needed to rebuild this synagogue, restore this synagogue. And uh, also, uh, we have a group that the main synagogue needs to be the tallest building in the city. 